If you're feeling intimidated by rapid changes at work, you are far from alone. According to new data from LinkedIn, 50% of workers feel overwhelmed by how quickly their job is changing, and almost 50% are worried about being left behind. LinkedIn career expert Catherine Fisher has tips for how you can respond. Catherine, thank you very much for being here. Thanks. A lot of people feel this way. So what is it? Why are they so overwhelmed? Yeah, you know, work changes all the time. We're used to it. I remember when the smartphone came on board and I was like, whoa, I'm no longer tethered to my desk. Yeah. Um, but now what's happening is that it's changing in all different directions. It's who you work with, when you work, where you work. And so that is you know, contributing to this feeling of like, I'm not sure which way to turn because something's changing everywhere I look. Why are people struggling to adapt though? I think because, well, for one, here's what I love is that all of a sudden you've got four generations working together. Wow. You've got- Four generations? Yes, Gen wow. Z all the way through boomers. Oh. And so that's really challenging to figure out different communication styles, you know, where to work. And then also as companies are figuring out um, what is happening in terms of the policies, people are, are trying to, you know, navigate, okay, where am I gonna work? Am, am I gonna have to all of a sudden change my routine? And then to figure out how to work with a different generation. So, so what is your advice for people who may be struggling to keep up with the changes because for so many people they have the fake it till you make it attitude yeah but I think sometimes in these days you can't even do that yeah you know you want to go in with a growth mindset and what I mean is a that growth mindset a growth mindset what is that? that means that you're gonna go into your job understanding that you will be changing like you're you're not going to be expected just to go in and know everything and be really cur you know I think having curiosity is one of the most important things so understanding that your skills may change but if you're going along with the change with the company, because guess what? Your boss is changing as well. Everyone is experiencing it. Most of the time, it's our own trepidations that hold us back, and we're afraid to step out and ask for help. So what advice do you have for those that just feel left behind and they just feel like they're just doggy paddling in the deep yes. end? But yeah. also sometimes, Nate, when you ask for help, people think you're weak and you can't cut yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So sometimes yes. you're afraid to ask for help, Good even point. though you know you need Especially help. in a professional atmosphere. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. You know, the first thing you want to do is before, you know, just kind of that knee-jerk reaction of going to your boss, do some research. Go, you know, Follow some influencers to see what they're talking about. Ask your colleagues how they're man you know, managing a, a situation. Yeah. And you know, do bite-sized learning. So really try to do as much as you can before going to your boss to ask for help. But the other thing is asking for help is a skill. You want to also know when you've, you've tried everything you can and it's now time to say, hey, I, I need some help over here. Qu quickly, any job hunt changes we should know about? I think you know, it's really understanding that the types of skills that are important for people um, and knowing that actually hiring managers want to see a growth mindset. So you want to be demonstrating how you have like take, you know, embraced change, yeah, yeah. what courses you've taken, you know, how you've learned and, you know, really expanded your skill set. I love this four generations on a single team. I know. Z, I, millennials, I X, yes. Yes. And, and boomers. boomers. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Four of them walk into a room. How's yes. it go? <laughs> exactly. I, as, speaking for the boomers, it goes very well. <laughs> <laughs> but you say that this change of pace isn't something that you've seen in your career for a very long time. Yeah, it, I think it's because- And you have less than 20 seconds here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Well, you know, what it is is that there's changes from every different angle. And I think because companies are figuring out what their return to office is, you know, how you're incorporating AI into your daily tasks, like how do you write an email and, and help with that, to again, how do you communicate with a different generation? Yeah. That's what's- Talk to the young generation. They know a lot of stuff. <laughs> Thank, yeah, you, Catherine, Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you.